Hello, Serge here from the Backyard Driving Range. All right, we have a letter that came in today. And this one is from Peter Bosick. And he's from Gmudden, and I believe it's Germany. Okay? All right, it's ironic that, that this one, uh, I'm doing this one today because uh, I just read in our Spottenberg Herald newspaper today that the, uh, I don't know if, if you know this, but the... Uh, BMW plant is located between Spottenburg and Greenville and it is one of our biggest companies in South Carolina and uh, basically if you own a, a SUV it's made all the SUVs for German for German uh, for BMW are made right here in in, Sp in Spottenburg South Carolina as well as the little two-seater and uh, and I think they're getting ready to bring out an another uh, mid-size SUV this year they're coming out and so they're, they're one of our biggest employers and one of our greatest our greatest uh, allies here at BMW because of the fact that uh, of so much they do how much they do for the community and and uh, and plus the fact that I'm sure if you if you follow the web.com tour we have the BMW uh, challenge championship here held in the in the Greenville in the Greenville area Greenville Spartanburg area and a little and I think we play around the two up in North Carolina which is about 30 40 miles away and the point I'm making is Joseph Kirshner, who is the president of BMW Manufacturing here, has had an, they had an article about him, and he wrote a nice, a nice retort to it, thanking, uh, saying how great it was for his, him and his family to live here for the six or seven years they've been here and, and everything else. And I, I noticed in it, he is, he is heading back to Germany to the BMW plant in Din Golfing, Germany. It's D-I-N-G-O-L-F-I-N-G, -I -I -G, Germany. So I'm, I guess uh, in Din Golfing, I'm... Sure, they play golf. But anyways, let's get to this letter today. It says, hey, Serge, I am studying your swing model for a couple of years. What I have never found was a slow motion video or something like that of your golf swing face on and down the line. I would appreciate it if you could make that a subject of your daily videos and show us your swing in slow motion. Your dailies are highly ap appreciated. Many thanks in advance, Peter. Okay, Peter. All right, good thought. Now, I, I really can't do dailies and dailies do slow motion uh, because it's just me and the camera. I just, I'm a one-man show here. And, and so the camera's just running at its normal speed. But what I'm going to try to do today is the slow motion swings that Peter just asked and just kind of walk you through it and give you a good concept of what it looks like, okay? I'm going to pull my sleeves up a little bit so you can see my, my, my hands, wrists, and forearms better. All right? I'm going to put... I'm going to put a ball down here on the, on the on the mat so we got our starting point. All right, and I'm going to do the face on. All right, when I walk into the ball and I get ready, one of the things I do is, as I've talked, you've heard me talk about it a lot. I like I like a very quiet waggle, and when I finally stop my waggling and come down and set, that's when I finally really ultimately set my final uh, muscle tones in my body, my hands from my body all the way through my body. Because when I walk in and I set it like this and I, and I grab it, I'm about 60% muscle tone. And the reason why I'm only about 60% muscle tone is because it's still going to take me, once I walk in here, another 3 to 5 or 6 seconds to swing. Remember, I've got to do it before 10 seconds. Because after 10 seconds, the practice swing, the feelings of the practice swing that I'm going to try to emulate in this setup and especially in the swing. Remember I say, feel the swing in the practice swing? the setup of the swing and then set up and swing the, and swing the feel. Well, you got 10 seconds to swing it. So once I get in here, I got to get going a little time. But even in that short time, if I really energize myself, got athletically ready for that, for that swing, where I'm, where, where, where I'm totally energized and, and, I'm, and my body is, is, is just ready to, 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 to just hit this golf ball, not kind of swing lazily at it, but hit it. Because I want to get normal what my normal full distance will be if I'm on my most shots, right? That I'm trying to hit full. So I'm just, I'm right here just doing waggle about 60% energized, all right? My muscles engaged. I like that word too. Energized and engaged muscles. And it's your whole body that's engaged. So then when I get done that waggle, when I finally come back to the ground, whether I tap the ground or I kind of just get down and, and, I, and I get to the point where I set my, my left arm and shaft in line at the left hip, then I'm going to do what? 
I'm gonna go boom. I'm gonna squeeze up with my both hands, which is just like just like flicking on the light switch. The energy goes from the energy now passes through that switch. It goes zzz, right to the light, and the light comes on. And that's almost. And so I almost want to get going that fast. Cause so once I do, once I get that spot, I do that. I, my hands tighten, my knees go out. I set my wide knees, and then I take the club back. And that goes that goes bang 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 that fast, that fast. All right, those three things happen, and then I'm gone. All right, so. As soon as I do that, when I press my and I squeeze my hands, that's like the energy just all the muscles go ready for. To me, I feel like it goes up my arms, all the way up into my neck and shoulders, and then all the way down both sides of my body, right to my tiptoes. It goes zip and then bang. So by the time I squeeze and that goes on, the club is ready to start. That that thing got energized that fast. And those three and those th and those three things are set the grip, the, to the knees, and then the club starts. Bang, bang, bang. That fast. Bang, bang, bang. Okay, but I'm gonna do it a lot. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna energize myself, but I'm gonna swing slow for you. Okay. Now my first goal is the catcher's mitt is basically straight back, and I'm gonna show this from the other view, just a little bit inside the toe line. I'm gonna just use it. I'm gonna start with my right hip and right my right hip, knee and shoulder, turning a little bit. But my goal is to always move the club first to feel like I move the club first. So I'm gonna just lift. It's immediate lift, just like swinging, lifting my arms up to to toss the ball underhanded. Okay, it's straight up, and both arms are lifting. To, both hands and arms are lifting together, together equally. All right, so I'm just going to lift really, really slow, and as I'm lifting into the mitt, I'm turning a little bit, and I turn until the forward arm is over the toe line. Once I reach the toe line, there is no more turn, and from there it is all lift. All right, and I'm going to talk about the plane in the backswing. It's all lift, and so right about here, and where is here? I've always had this drill where if you take, if you want to find what I call ringing the bell, and I use a bell like a desk bell on a teacher's desk or at a hotel counter when you go in to register, you hit that little bell, the button, the plunger, bing, bing, bing. I put that upside down. When I go bing, then I go bang. All right. So where is that point? That point is basically if you stand at the ball and you take, you take your body and just turn it very slow to here, that's where the bell is right there. Now, once I'm in more dynamic motion of swinging and the club is actually moving more, the acceleration and momentum of this club is going to pull me a little bit higher. But that's where the bell is. Bing, I'm going to go a little bit past it. But as soon as I bing, that's already going. And my hands, my, my lower body's already doing the bump that way, but the hands are going up. Okay? A little bit longer. So I'm going to take it in the catcher's mitt. I'm turning to the toe line. But once I reach the toe line, it's up. Notice how my both elbows are up in the air and I got a nice triangle in my arms. I go get up here, bing, my lower body goes. When the lower body goes, we get the secondary spine angle tilt, which is tilt, which is actually putting us behind the ball. So I get behind the ball, I straighten it up to impact. Bang, I've, I've hit back, I've hit it. Now once I'm up here and I ring the bell and bump, everything comes down here. We're slightly behind the ball, arms extended. Then from there, I just keep swinging really slow. I go into the forward catches mitt, which is just again inside the line like it was over there. But as I keep turning, I now it takes me to the to the right arm over the toe line. And then from there it's straight up, recall and relax. Okay? So let's do this from with the ball with with aiming lines down here now, okay? So now I'm starting here. Let me move these a little bit farther both ways. Alright, so the catcher's mitt's right about in here. So now I'm going to turn a little bit right here, and as I keep turning and I get over the toe line, it's straight up. All right? Now notice, if you can see my, my forward arm is over the toe line, but my hands and the club are slightly inside. Why? Because I'm swinging on an inclined plane. And they're inside to the point where if I drop them, they'd be cutting right over my shoulder. Now Nancy, if my hands start getting outside of my shoulder and get back here and the club gets over here, that's when I'm deep. But if the hands were directly over the toe line, you're definitely you're a little outside the line. It's only the upper arm from the elbow to the shoulder of the lead arm, target side arm, that's, that's over the toe line. The hands and club have to be a little bit inside because we're on inclined plane. From there I make the bump. You see that the club gets laid off a little bit on the way down? That's because of that secondary spine angle tilt, which puts us behind the ball. But at that point, I'm working very diligently and really, really working to make sure that my right hand is going to, is going to Stop that club from falling too deep and laid off. Okay, so I'm trying to. I'm trying to. My right hand is stopping it because if you don't, you stop falling and too laid off. You're gonna. You're gonna have all kinds of trouble squaring the club up at impact. All right. So in my mind, I feel like I take the club straight back, straight up, 
straight down, straight into the forward mitt, and straight up. That I feel in my mind, I feel like I'm swinging like that. I know that's an exaggeration, but that's what helps me make my mind, makes my right hand do to keep the club, to keep the club vertical and not getting too deep. So I ring the bell, I bump, I come down real slow. Today, but not when I hit it. The club's coming in. Everything squares up at impact because our arms square up in front of our body. Boom, I hit it. Then I just, I'm starting, the club's starting to go toe up again into the forward catches mitt, which is just inside the line. The body's turning because we're swinging up to the tee finish. Once the body, once the club goes straight down the line in the mitt, then it's coming up the tree. I'm not, I can't let it keep going that way because it will want to stay that way because of the plane. That, that the plane it was coming down on here, it's going to want to go that way for every action is a reaction. So I have to make sure that, that I control that reaction and make it go up on this side like I made it go up on that side, straight up to vertical, over the shoulder, recall and relax. So I hit the ball, as I keep turning, once I square it to the target, the club, I'm squaring to the target, my body squared to it, I come up, and I come down and recall and relax, and then I walk away. Okay, from a back view it's going to look like this. Over the toe line, as you can see, it's up. See how it's just over to here? This forward arm is over the toe line. As I come down, I'm, on my right hand's not letting that club go deep. It's letting it come uh, laid off just a little. It comes into the ball. I now hit it into the forward catches mitt. I come up over the shoulder. See the T of the body right here? Spine's vertical here. I hit the T. I come down, recall and relax, and then I walk out. Okay? Well, hopefully this is slow enough and that you can play this back and forth and get a good view of it. And again, it's all described in, the, in, in, the, in, the, in all the manuals and in many videos. So hopefully I slowed this down enough and you're seeing what you want to see. And uh, so for slow motion peak performance swing, that's it for the search for today. And I'll be talking with you all again soon.